you who have uh, to date been uh, denied the great pleasure of meeting me. Uh, my name is Lauren Markowitz. I'm the uh, sales and marketing consultant extraordinaire. Because of my uh, superior abilities in this area, it only stands to reason that once again I've been invited to host the Canadian Healthcare Marketing Hall of Fame. And although none of the inductees today are more worthy than me, uh, I do have a, an eye to recognize that their contributions have been, you know, okay. <laughs> On a more serious note, though, uh, you know, humorous icebreaker, check. Um, thank you very much for being here. Um, this is a very challenging time for our industry, and the reality is that there is no one in this room who's not good at their jobs. The environmental conditions are such that uh, poor performance is just not sustainable or viable. We are all very good at what we do, but we are taking this opportunity to take this moment to celebrate the best of the best, so congratulations. I want to take this opportunity to first and foremost thank everybody for putting this on. This is the eighth annual National Hall of Fame Awards. It's been orchestrated by the Chronicle Group of Companies, the publishers of the Chronicle of Healthcare Marketing, and it's put together with a variety of individuals and on this lovely booklet that's been put together, uh, by, published by the Chronicle, on the back cover you have all of the sponsors, so I'd just like to take a second to call out and acknowledge and thank Allard Johnson Antibody Jansen Ortho, Medica Graphics, Pangea, Smart Technology, and Pfizer for help putting this day together. Thank you. For those of you who may be joining the Hall of Fame Awards uh, for the first time, there is a published criteria and there is a strict criteria. This is not open only to the pharmaceutical industry, it's the pharmaceutical industry, the biotechnology, medical uh, instruments, and suppliers and partners such as advertising. Uh, and continuing education. So it's a, the entire healthcare industry is being uh, taking this opportunity to acknowledge. Uh, inductees, the criteria have to be, they have to have made a lasting impact on others, served as a source of inspiration to others, and demonstrated extraordinary dedication and commitment to the humane principles inherent to our profession. Uh, the nominations are submitted. You are, uh, those of you who have been nominated, you're not allowed to self-nominate, so you're nominated by your peers, and you are judged by a, a defined set of criteria. Uh, the Chronicle Group of Companies, as well as other sponsors, participate in the evaluations. So congratulations to all of today's inductees. I uh, would like to begin, and what we're going to do is uh, I will acknowledge the uh, recipient. I apologize for some of the background noise. We uh, ran a, a few moments late uh, before lunch could be served, but we have to uh, time box this accordingly. We have several people here from out of town, flights to catch, that sort of thing. So please excuse the, the background noise as we proceed. Uh, I will acknowledge the, uh, the first recipient and uh, introduce the presenter. Uh, both the presenter and the recipients each have two minutes to uh, make a, a speech, a few, say a few words. Uh, and please bear in mind that we do have some, some timelines. So the 